how to add image banner on collection page in Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to add a image banner on collection page into the Shopify store of yours. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Shopify.com. Sign in for an account and you're going to see the admin dashboard of yours. Now, before adding an image banner to the collection page, I'm going to show you how we can create a collection. So, the first thing that we need to do is to head over the products. And from the products, you need at least one or two products. So, I have here one. I'm going to add another product. So, we are going to set up here a classic for example, or casual shoe, for example, casual shoe. And then we are going to add a definition or a little description about the uh, product right there. I'm going to keep it. Now, what are we going to do is to add uh, some media. So basically here I have uh, uploaded an image. I will let it upload and uh, continue setting up the price, for example, here and we are going to add uh, for example the quantity so i'm going to add here the quantity that is available in the two locations that i have i'm going to click on save and so i have clicked on save so i'm not going to lose anything so basically here we are going to put the uh, price or the shipping as you can see here, wait. So everything here is normally set. Uh, here we need to add variants like the uh, shoe size. We need to add some shoe sizes right there. So I have the suggested one for you. I'm going to click on done, save again. And normally everything is set. Now let's head over the collections. Click on collections and we are going to create a collection. So here. We are going to see the image uh, here, banner or the image placement. We are going to name first the uh, title of that uh, collection. I'm going to put here shoe collection. Collection like that. And we are going to put here uh, a description, for example, like that. And now for the collection type, we are going to put it as manual and browse here the product. So I'm going basically to add here two products. Now, what I am going to do is to add an image. And we are going to see if this image is going to pop up. So I have added a random image. I'm going to click on done. And what I am going to do is to see here that if the image is uh, right there, we're going to click on save. And normally our weather collection is going to be okay. So I'm going to click on view. And until here, we do not have the banner. So what I'm going to do here is to head over the online store. I'm going to select the themes from here and select the current theme. Click on customize. And here we are going to head over the collection page. So how we can head over it. So we are going to see the home page at the top. We're going to click on it. And here we are going to see these specific items. We're going to select collection. Here we have the default collection. As you can see, we are going to see here the products that are available into this specific collection. So I'm going to change here the uh, view to the shoe collection. And we have no banner. Here we have the collection banner. So what I am going to do is to add here a section. And that section is going to be here having the banner. I'm going to add it into here. So basically what I am going to do, I'm going to delete the text, the buttons and etc. I'm going to let here the banner. So we are going to click on the banner. So Basically, I'm going to link it to a image. Let's see here the image that we have. And here we have it. I have added the image of it. So this is the banner that we have added. 
you can add another image for example or add upload another image as a second one i'm going to wait for this to be uploaded uh i'm going to wait for it and here i have added the second image so we have a split as you can see here uh image so i'm not going to split it like this so we can go ahead and um uh remove it so we are going to only put one image you can set up the image overlay opacity percentage you can set up the banner height as you can consider here for small large or medium and also you can adapt it to the first image so i'm going to put it a little bit small so like that you can set up the desktop content position for example to the middle center it is the middle center you can set it to the top left or whatever for the content right there of the that we have already um uh moved or removed you can show the container on the desktop you can desktop content alignment uh here shoes for example we have the color scheme the animation the image behavior for example we have the amb ambient movement for example we're going to give some uh here uh, effect to the image you can set up here a zoom on scroll for example like that this is a little bit of zoom on scroll and you can go ahead and put it with a no uh, right there animation for the mobile layout you can set, align the content right there to whatever you want and from here you can go ahead and see the theme settings that you are going to reveal section on scroll like this and for this custom CSS, if you know how about coding, you're going to add here some uh, specific codes to this specific banner. So with that, we have added uh, the image banner and it is going to be showing up. Maybe you're going to ask me about the, uh, right there, the, uh, uh, the layer cake that is available here. This is uh, the source or the uh, source that we are going to link some items. For example, we have the meta objects and also uh, we have the branch. For example, you can all go ahead and put some cover image and whatever you want from here. So I'm going to remove it. So this is why I have uploaded the image. You can go ahead and remove it and select it from scratch. As you can see, we are going to see the brand, the cover image, and you are going to replace it or select the image from there. So that was basically everything for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.